it's a boom gang back again welcome back to the channel if you're new welcome to the channel my name is Boo Abuse make sure you like share subscribe follow me on Instagram Uta underscore abuse of boom big thank you again to Daniel and Jim at Cruelly Surplus Store got another rifle to review you get me I ain't even trying to take long, so let's get straight into it. See, it comes in a hard case and everything. Do you know what's crazy with this hard case? The rifle only comes up to about here. Get me? And it's got wheels on it and everything. So, yeah, they went crazy, but boom. We're doing a review on the Crow. MP02 in 177. So let me open the box and show you how it comes. So as you can see, got the MP02 there with the user's manual, and you got a little box. So that's Sorry, gang, I had to stop it there and conclude it from my house basically because. I wasn't the only one shooting. Big up my guy Dave that I met today. He was shooting his Impact M3. If you know, that's my dream gun, you get me? But yeah, big thank you to Dave for putting up for me, for, for putting up with me today while I was shooting and doing reviews and everything. But yeah, let's finish off now. So boom, you get the box in the hard case and inside the box comes you get your usual you get the allen key you get some o-rings and you get your probe also you get a single shot loader and you get two 14 shot magazines so watch this i've done the shooting already obviously I tried it with the magazines. The pellets was going all over the place, you get me? I then tried to use the single shot loader. It was tight getting into the breech. When I finally got it in and tried to close the side lever, it was stiff, like, I didn't want to break it, so I just got rid of it. Where you put the pellet, it's big enough to fit my thumb so I was using my thumb to put the to load the rifle you get the work the user's manual but if you look in here this is not the crowd mpo2 this is like it's the puncher the crowd puncher basically so yeah the user manual is not for the Crow MPO2. This one's for the Crow Puncher. Or, look, it says Puncher down there. You get me? But yeah, you get the user's manual. Also, in the hard case, you get the chrono reading. Let me read this out to you quickly, so. Boom. So they use the RWS Superfields 4.51. That's the head size, 4.51. They're 8.3 grains. The average was 790 feet per second with a standard deviation of 3.1, 3.01. The lowest reading was 7, 785, 785 feet per second. The highest reading was 794 feet per second with a spread of nine. So that's kind of decent, you get me? So, yeah. And the foot pound is, on this is between 11.6 and 11.3. That's the standard deviation, so. So yeah, let's get into the rifle now. This is the MP02. And Dan said, oh, the rifle's got a short barrel car. If you lot know, the main reason why I really wanted this rifle is because it's got a short barrel. I want to know that, I want to know the distance that these short barrels go to car. I'm used to 
500 millimeters or 50 centimeter barrels you get me sir yeah i just wanted to see how far it goes so let's get into it at the rear or the back of the rifle you got a rubber butt stock which is adjustable you got a button here that you push you can move it up or down get me a cheap piece basically this cheap piece is just a cover for the air tank but let's stick to the cheap piece you got the cheap piece here it's kind of thick as well you look can see that sir i can't lie it is kind of comfy because it's thick and it's like got the curve on it yeah it's real comfy for your face it just sits nicely let's go to the air tank now can't remember but between these two cylinders or air tank or whatever you want to call it there's 530 cc's of air that's the capacity that is a lot of air that means a lot of shots you get me so yeah that's both of them but i don't know how much one is i might put it on the screen but yeah this is the air cylinder that holds the air obviously it's at the top you got a dovetail rail that doubles up as a rail as well. It's kind of crazy. I don't know. You might see in the video, but my scope mount, they weaver. They're made for the weaver rail, but it don't fit on this, but I still made it work. So yeah, you got the dovetail rail, you got the weaver rail. Just below that, you got the branding and that. 177 cow made in turkey by crow just below that now you got the safety switch nice you can hear it you get me nice positive clicks we go below that now you got the walnut stock it's kind of comfy like the grip and everything it's made for left-handed and right-handed shooters. It's ambidextrous, so uh, it's half comfy. <laughs> the left-handed shooters is half comfy for them as well. But yeah, the grip's decent. You got a two-stage adjustable trigger. It's decent, it's all right. First stage is all right, second stage, yeah, it's kind of slushy. It's not crisp. It's kind of slushy, but it's decent. It done the job. Let's move to above here. Can you see this knob here? This is a power adjuster. So right now it's on full power, but you can turn down the power. We're in England. We're not allowed a lot of power. Like This is called a sub-12 air rifle. So I don't see why we would want to turn the power down, to tell the truth, but... Yeah, you got the power adjuster, and on this side, it's got the markings, like the plus and the minus sign and everything. You get me? This side now. Like I said, you got the markings, the hashes, plus and minus sign. The side lever. Notice it's not on the right side. I'm used to it being on the right side, isn't it? This one's on the left side, so I don't know if it's for left-handed shooters or what, but... Yeah, it's on the left hand side, that's different. Uh, then at the front, you got the fill port with a cover, with the dust cover covering it. You just spin it to expose the hole, basically. At the front, you got the pressure gauge. Crow arms, it's got their branding in it. Decent. All right, then let's go to the main part, the rifle. The reason why I wanted this rifle, the barrel, is 320 millimeters. That's kind of short, you get me, sir? I just wanted to see how far they can really shoot out to. That's all. All right, then at the end of the barrel, you got a muzzle brake. I think you would call it, but a muzzle brake. And underneath the muzzle brake, it's half inch UNF threaded, so you need to fit a silence, so trust me, car, this rifle's way loud, way too loud, but yeah, you can fit a silence on this. 
is there anything I'm missing out on? It is regulated. I don't know how much shots you got out of this, but it's going to be a lot. Max pressure as well. No, max fill on the air tanks is 200 bar. Like, no. You get me, sir? Right, let me get back to the video now, gang. Go watch, go finish watching, go finish watching. Gang. Let's go do the groups, man. Alright, so gang. Couple things before I shoot. One, this don't come with a biopod, so I'm gonna be shooting off of the this bag that I use at the rear, but I'm gonna be using it at the front. Had to make up a little platform and you get me, sir? So, yeah, I'm gonna be shooting off it like that. So if the groups ain't great, yeah, it's my fault. Two, I'm gonna be using the heavies, JSB heavy, the 10.34 grain, as normal. I don't know why, but I prefer them more than the 8.44 grains. See, I've got the Hawk scope on there, fire up, silencer. Done talking now, let's get into it. All right, so gang, 30 yards now. I'm gonna give it five shots at the dot. It's a rough zero. So remember, it's not about hitting the dot, it's about seeing the group sizes. So yeah, five shots at 30 yards. Five. I like that group, I can't lie. This gun's kind of decent, but yeah, 40 yards now. All right, so gang, I'm still on the 30 yard zero, but we're going out to 40 yards, so don't know how close it's going to get to the dock. 40 yards, five shots.
you know what, let me do one more. Cause that was me that pulled it. Like I said, I ain't got the rest for the back. So I can see myself shaking and the, the, the. So yeah, let me give it one more just to compensate for that last shot. See if I can get it to group good. Yards. I'm gonna zero it up and then we're gonna go do the 50 yards. So yeah, 50 yard time now. Alright, so gang, 50 yards. I can't lie, this rifle it's decent, it's doing decent groups. So yeah, 50 yards. I've zeroed it to 50 as well, rough zero. So we're gonna get close to the dot. But, 50 yards. I think that that last one. You do one more, make it six car. I didn't like the way that one went up, but like I said, I ain't got no rest at the back. I'm using my hand basically, so it's not too stable. With a bipod and the back rest there, yeah, this rifle would be decent. Gang, let's go check the groups. Alright, so gang, let's test these groups. I got my trusty 5P there as always. You know, it's 1.8 millimeters in diameter. So, alright, let's start off with the 35 shots. 5P covers that easy. Yeah, let's go into the 40 now. Alright, 40. This shot here, I felt myself pull. Like I said, I ain't got no rest for the back of the rifle. I ain't even got stable legs. I ain't even got a bipod, so yeah. 
forgive my shooting today, but 5p. Hold on, I can cover five. that five and a half I can almost get the six but five yeah five that way five under the five P at 40 let's move on to the fifth now I hear the bell the effecto that's what the effecto was hitting the other day but 50 yards down I think this is the one that I pulled. So I took so I took six shots, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Alright. Fifty yards, I can get four. Can I stretch it to five? Six shots, four under the four. What? Four under the five P, sorry. It's kind of decent for this rifle, I can't lie. It's decent. So, yeah, gang, let me end this video now. So, boom, gang, I'm done. That was the Crow MPO2.177, I can't lie. When I first got this home, I was thinking, bloody hell, this gun's just ugly. But the little groups that i done, yeah, I have to give this rare for this rating. So big up crowd for this one. Definitely a nice first rifle for anyone. A budget rifle. I ain't going to say cheap. Say budget. If you don't spend that grand 1200 1400 1800 Got a little nice, decent rifle here for 300. You get me, sir? Big thanks to Jim, down at Crawley Surplus Store again. Getting out of there, it's too cold. So, gang, Happy New Year again. Big thank you to the subscribers and that. This year, we're going again. You get me, so boom, gang. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Uta underscore beast. I'm out. CC on the beat.